All right, here we go with our February numbers hot off the press and your market report on all of Rochester and also all of Southeast Minnesota. We'll give you February's number then also the year-to-date numbers and see if we are up versus last year and kind of give you a heads up on where the economy is heading. So let's get started. February, what we have here, new listings on the market. We had 221 homes come on the market this February. Last February, that is compared to 282. So we are down with listings coming on the market of 21%. And then let's take a quick peek at the year-to-date version of this. 372 homes have hit the market year-to-date. And last year, as of February 2010, we had 480. So year-to-date, homes coming on the market were down about 23%, so 225 so less homes getting onto the market, um, maybe people fearing of um, if their home's going to sell. We'll kind of keep an eye on this as we hit this big market of homes coming onto the market here in March and April. Uh, pended homes, so homes that actually went under contract in February this year. We had 100 and, um, 101, and these are residential homes in Rochester. Last February, there were 106 homes that went under contract. So down about 5% in homes being um, contra having contracts written on them. Let's take a look at year-to-date. So 207 under contract so far versus 187 last year. That is a great that is a great number to see. We're up 20 units, which amounts to 10.6% increase in homes going under contract. So we're having more activity even with less inventory. We're having more homes um, being sold, which is a great sign. So if we look at sold, so for February, 76 homes. And then last February, there were 73. So we had Three more units closed this year versus last year, so that's a 4% increase in closed units. That's February. Let's look at year to date. 128 versus 130. So basically, we are right on cue with last year. And what's interesting about that is last year was a stimulated economy with a tax credit, and we're basically still competing with that market. That is a great sign to see that without a stimulated economy, we're still competing with what we did last year. That is phenomenal. Um, um, information for us to see and great um, hopefully great things to come here in the future and then that basically leaves us down 1.5 percent so if we look at sold average days on the market 151 versus 142 last year so they are on the market a little bit longer in Rochester by six percent so by nine days on the market our average sale price let's compare that year over year we're looking at 162,000 versus 167,000 last year. So we're down about 3% in the actual average sale price of homes here in Rochester. Our inventory, active listings, we've got 1228 out there right now, and we've got 1338 as of last year, 2010. So we are down about 110 units in inventory, but we're still selling more of those units, which is a great sign to see, again, without that stimulated economy. Sold to list price ratio. So this is basically telling us when you list the home, and then when it sells, how much did that price actually decrease? So basically it's telling us we're selling the home at 95% of the original list price, which is a 5% decrease here in 2011 versus a 3% in 2010. So people are maybe reducing their homes a little bit more here to get them sold. They're, um, they're noticing that it's such a price competitive market that they're willing to do that to get them sold. So the key thing for you as a seller is listing that, knowing that it's probably going to be dropping maybe to do that right off the bat when you have the most um, people looking at your home. Anything fresh on the market gets the most views. So it's very crucial that you list your home at that proper price so you can take advantage of that free publicity that you get with fresh market material. So that is Rochester. Let's take a quick peek at all of Southeast Minnesota. How are we sitting as a whole? So February, new homes on the market, 432 versus 647 last year. So a big difference there. That is a 33% drop in homes coming on to the market versus last year. Year to date, that leaves us with a total of 800 units have hit the market this year versus 1150 last year. So as a whole, we are down almost 30% in new inventory in southeast Minnesota. Pended homes, we are at 284 this year versus 314 last year. So we're down 9.5% in homes coming on to the market. Year to date, 558 versus 563. So basically identical, it's 0.88% decrease. So our homes going under contract, basically identical to last year. And again, just keep in mind, last year was a stimulated driven market. So we're um, great signs that we're being able to compete with a market that was driven by a stimulus. 
sold homes. 209 year-to-date versus 211 last year. So again, right on cue, that's a 1% drop, two units. Again, a, stimu a stimulus-driven economy last year, so that's phenomenal to see us competing with that. 391 units sold this year versus 391 last year. So our economy, all of southeast Minnesota, uh, our real estate economy, residentially, is exactly where it was last year in sold units. And that, again, not comparing the apples to apples, we're comparing it to a stimulated economy. Sold days on the market. And versus Rochester, Rochester is actually up on days on the market. All of southeast Minnesota is down by six units, so down 4%. The average sale price for all of Southeast Minnesota is 131.2 this year versus 131.6 last year. So basically identical. Um, it is down 0.26 percent. Active listings in Southeast Minnesota this year we've got 3,600 as of February, and 2010 we had 4,100. So we're down about 500 units in active listings, even though we're selling more or basically the same amount of units as last year. Sold price list um, price ratio. 93 versus 95 so it's actually a 7 percent drop in original list price to get them sold in 2011 versus a 5 percent drop in 2010. Let's take a quick peek here the top here is going to be sold units let's see what price range of um, homes are actually selling this year versus last year. Very interesting to look here in the blue is last year and in the gray is this year the lower end we're selling a lot more last year versus this year but if you look at this middle group here it's shifting to that market again. This market is up in every category except for 180 to 200,000. Otherwise, we're selling more of those units in that price range. You guys can pause the video here and take a quick peek at that. And then down below is going to be homes that are coming on the market. What homes are hitting the market this year versus last year in the price ranges? So these are new listings, year-to-date numbers that have hit the market. So you can see this 120 to 140 is where 78 homes have hit the market this year. So that is a... Um, a big price point and also along with 140 to 160. And then we've got a quick pie chart here. Again, you can pause this. This is just showing February summary, how many were listed, how many were sold, how many were pended, and what percentage breakdown that was. So we can see the listed is taking up about 56% of the pie. Year to date is taking up 53% with our units there, our sold units, our pended units. So we can see that. And then also compare it to last year. Or last February, listed units were 61% of the pie, and this year it's only 56. And where the where the stolen percentage points are are in the sold area. It's at 19% this year versus 16% last year, and the units are on there as well. And then you can also take a look at the year-to-date number. I mean, that's great to see the the pie chart was 61% to listings last year year-to-date. Now it's 53. So what's taking up the the market is the sold and the pended. So our inventory is going down, it's homes are selling, that is a great sign. So again, keep tuned into this um, video. You guys can always come back here to ionrochestermarket.com and every month we will keep you updated on exactly what is going on in the real estate marketplace. Have a great day.